Don't relent. Don't negotiate. There's nothing to negotiate. The constitution is there. Let the constitution be implemented. Uh -huh. We don't have anything to negotiate. Uh -huh. So those inviting you to negotiate want to trick you, want to deceive you, want to divert you. Okay. What's up guys, welcome to SPM Buzz. We have Saudi TV, we're right here at the Kenyatta International Conference Center. We have Busia Senator, Okia Mtata. Sir, yes. how are you? I'm very fine. Uh -huh. And I'm excited to be living in these times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we thought that the demo had died with us, uh -huh. because at one point the street was vilified sure. as a place for idiots <laughs> and do no good us, uh -huh. I can say that uh, the street is being redeemed as the ultimate arena uh -huh. where political decisions are made. Uh -huh. And if you look at the history of this country, uh -huh. right from the likes of Makatalili Wamenza, Harithoku, you come down to the Mau Mau and whatever. Uh -huh. Decisions were made outside parliaments that moved this country forward. You come to Section 2A, you come to the PPJ where there was inter-parliamentary party, whatever. So we've always moved this country from outside the parliament. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy for what I'm seeing. Even the new constitution, people died, people went to the streets, people demanded issues to be done. And I'm very happy that the Gen Z are not missing out and it's always the youth who fight mm -hmm. and i'm happy to be living in these times because i feel like i'm living in the days that uh, the prophet joel for so when he prophesied that uh, the spirit of the lord will come upon the land and the old men shall dream dreams not like in baba let baba dream dreams and the young people sons and daughters shall see visions mm -hmm. and i can see gen z seeing a vision of a Kenya that is a developed country. And that's the vision that should not be lost. It may be too bright for some to see, but that's what we are seeing. And uh, ultimately, the constitution must be implemented. And so I'm very happy with what I'm seeing. I only would like to see slightly more documentation of the demos mm -hmm. so that the criminal elements within the police force can be identified and dealt with. So let not everybody go onto the placard carrying and the demonstration. Yeah. Let us have people with your smart cameras um, uh, shadowing the demonstrators and filming everything around you mm -hmm. so that any rogue officer will be dealt with. It's very, very sad that this country has got a very militarized police. Even our school, our police uniform has been changed to a military fatigues. That's not how our police force should be dressed. Mm -hmm. Look around the, the world. Police forces don't dress in military fatigue because it makes them militaristic. Mm -hmm. Police forces are supposed to be armed with shields and batons, not with guns and uh, cannons and what have you. It makes them behave like a military. Mm -hmm. So we must look at the way of demilitarizing the police and we condemn all those who have gone above board and injured people. And we demand, personally, I demand that uh, the Inspector General gives us the name of the officers who fired shots mm -hmm. and injured people or the, even the worst case scenario whereby the two people were killed. Yeah. So those ones have to be done. But Gen Z, congratulations for stepping up to the plate. The ball is in your court. Mm -hmm. You are the young men who should be seeing visions and the young girls who should be seeing visions. Uh, the legs of Baba, the old men should be dreaming dreams. And we are very happy that you are doing it the way you are doing it and we wish you the best. Don't relent, don't negotiate, there's nothing to negotiate. The constitution is there, let the constitution be implemented. Uh -huh. We don't have anything to negotiate. Uh -huh. So those inviting you to negotiate want to trick you, want to deceive you, uh -huh. want to divert you. Don't allow negotiations. There's nothing to negotiate. They just have to follow the constitution and protect the rights of Kenyans, the people are sovereign. We cannot be governed by the IMF. We cannot be governed by the World Bank. That's bottom line. You have to be governed by President Ruto as an independent Kenyan mm -hmm. with a free will, with a mind that says that the country comes first. We can't be governed by market forces. Political action must lead the way. And we know people are poor. Uh, 
And so we must invest in service delivery, we must invest in the development of the country, and we have, must have less government. The idea of having uh, CISs, people living very large, expensive lifestyles, we can't afford it. The generation to enjoy maybe should be our great-grandchildren. Right now, our business is to plant the master seed, and we want our country back, and Gen Z, do it. Uh -huh. Get it done. Get our country back. Uh -huh. Thank you. Senator, uh, there has been this issue of the water cannons used during demos. We have uh, people online who probably think there could be uh, effects coming with... Yes, I'm preparing a petition to go to court to ban the use of chemicals on uh, demonstrators. We don't need to have a biological warfare. Why are you having a, a chemical warfare? We don't know what the agents are. I don't know whether the police are mixing these chemicals know what they're doing. We don't want uh, a pandemic of cancer down the line because people have been uh, affected by funny chemicals. So I'm working on a petition to get uh, the police banned from using those water cannons on uh, people. Mm -hmm. I also want to see that the police get demilitarized. They become civilian, they become civil, so that they can be a service. They are not a force, they are a police service. They are not a police force. And so this excessive force is not acceptable. And I'm very, very worried about that, those chemicals. And you see, that, you see the, the pressure with which they hit you means they force themselves into your body. They penetrate the skin. You may not see the injury now, but maybe 10 years down the line, five years down the line, you may begin getting kidney failure, uh, all these kind of things. So we cannot allow that kind of violence to be used on peaceful demonstrators. We want to see the police armed in civilian attire, even if it's a uniform, a civilian uniform, carrying shields, carrying batons, with which they can control crowds. But ultimately, where there's a peaceful demo, we want to see the a police band leading the demonstrators. <laughs> That's what we want to see, a police band leading the demonstrators mm -hmm. and showing them the way. Just the way they lead with these people who, par who parade themselves during uh, anniversaries or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and this is public participation, it's required in the constitution. People are petitioning the authorities to see, to do ABCD. And so for me, I'm very grateful, I'm very happy. I'm excited to be living in these times and I think the spirit of the Lord is upon this country. Mm -hmm. And our young men are seeing visions as the old people dream dreams. Uh -huh. I'm very happy. That's what the Prophet Joel wrote. Uh -huh. yeah. There are various abductions that have taken place during the weekend. We've seen the doctor, we've seen the blogger, Billy. What is your comment on that? The abductions, first of all, are, are, are illegal. Somebody, we don't have room for abductions. We have room for arrests. And an arrest has got its own procedures, and arrested people have got their rights. They are violating these rights. But I think we're getting to a point whereby we need to rein in the criminal state. Kenya cannot become a criminal enterprise, and we are going to, not going to allow it. There's the rule of law, the rule of law, and nothing else but the rule of law. Ne, jambo ni moja, sio matatu, jambo ni moja na jambo ni sheria. Mm -hmm. The rule of law, let us implement the constitution, let us live by the law. Come rain, come sunshine, everybody must be subdued to the law, and the law must dictate over all of us. That way this country will move forward. Those who are, are abducting, who are doing whatever, these are scare, scare chromo mechanisms. And I'm sure uh, lawyers have moved and uh, moved, applied for habeas corpus where these people have not been seen. These are empty threats. And let me tell you, sleeping on a police floor is fun. So get arrested. Get so many of you arrested that they cannot have enough police stations to put you in. I was ar I've been arrested 28 times. There's no police station there which I've not slept in, but yeah, I am, I'm alive. Yeah. So get arrested. So swarm the police post. Let them arrest as many as possible. If they come for even fill, the, fill those for police trucks so that they cannot have a holding space for you. Because we cannot allow your freedoms to be taken away. And as we say, the price of Freedom is eternal vigilance, and we must remain eternally vigilant. But ultimately, we must do the implementation of the Constitution. After the finance bill, I want agitation for the implementation of the Constitution around Chapter 7 on how elections are conducted in this country, how power is acquired and retained, and around Chapter 12 on the question of, uh, on the question of uh, public finances, and ultimately chapter four, 
on the Bill of Rights. So if we can get those three things fully implemented, Kenya will be a paradise. This kind of a lot of resources, we can become a developed country uh, within, a, within a generation. I was beginning to despair, but I'm seeing light that the people are coming up who are saying mm -hmm. there's a better way to do things, and that better way has to be the only way. And so I pray that uh, much as those of us who have been praying that we want our country back have seen how it's going to be done. So Gen Z, Generation Z, get it done. Uh -huh. we, want our country, we want our country back, Gen Z, get it done. Uh -huh. There are no two ways about it. Uh -huh. One last question from me. You've mentioned uh, Gen Z are here to do it. However, we have a couple of members of parliament or rather politicians who are uh, discouraging Gen Z. We have others who are saying they are only doing it for content. Others saying they are lazy. What message do you have to them? Those things were said a long time ago. Uh -huh. Even during the movement of Moses out of Israel, out of Egypt, <laughs> or Nehemiah out of Babylon. Yeah. So it is things that people will say. They try to discourage you, they try to whatever. And I think there's a famous quotation by Mahatma Gandhi that initially they dismiss you, then they will vilify you, then eventually they will respect you. Mm -hmm. So you are, you are not at phase one. I think too being... because we have a couple of them who are changing tune. <laughs> yeah? I think we're in phase two because we have a couple of MPs who, are, who said that before that Gen Z's are lazy, but they are look, it looks like they are changing tune right now. I they love to because I, mean, I know that their conscience will not sit pretty. Yeah. But the important thing is that uh, you cannot stop an idea whose time has come. Yeah. No army has ever succeeded mm -hmm. to stopping an idea whose time has come. And I think like when I talk like the street, yeah. I meet very many policemen. And very many of them are my friends, and I tell you, they are all singing hallelujah at what is happening. So, those who think that they can hide behind those policemen are fooling themselves. They are hiding behind a false wall. The policemen are with the Gen Z. A few rogue ones who are coming out are going to be isolated. Some policemen are even saying they are calling their fellow. There's also a movement within the police where they are calling each other and saying, if you are sent to the front line, don't bring shame on the force. And so we are also told that we have got these few rogue elements in civilian clothes who are doing some of this damage that need to be arrested. But I will tell you, they will ignore you. Then they will vilify you. Then they will respect you, as Gandhi said. Keep the fire going, keep the focus. You are chasing an elephant. Forget about the squirrels on the side. Go for the elephant. Yeah. Thank you so much, Senator. Okay. Bye.